Yes. Hi, Shannon here at the Boston Book Festival. We have a bunch of YA authors signing books, and it's a great time. And for you viewers, I have goodies, so stay tuned. Hi, Shannon again, and that was Nicole filming. We are coming at you for the Bottom of the Stairwell Booktube channel. So this past weekend, we got to go to the Boston Book Festival, and it was awesome. There were a couple YA events, we got to have some books signed, so we figured we would do a hybrid hall slash Boston Book Festival video. It was, it was really cool. Yeah. So, the first event was with Cami Garcia as the young adult keynote speaker and Samantha Lane. She has the Thoughts on Tomes YouTube channel, so definitely go check out her videos. She's awesome. I love her. So, for the event itself, Cami Garcia was wonderful. She was very entertaining. We got to hear all of these funny stories about her growing up with her stepfather, who was an undercover cop who dealt with like cars and car thieves and stuff like that. And how it really worked out was it actually played into her new book that's coming out called The Lovely Reckless, who we liked so much, we actually bought and we were able to get her to sign it, which was wonderful. And the story, The Lovely Reckless, which if I say The Pretty Reckless, then I'm sorry, I just keep confusing it in my head. So, <laughs> The Lovely Reckless is about a girl whose boyfriend is murdered, and she has like PTSD, and she's going through a really rough time, so she's oh, wow. reckless. So she gets shipped off to her stepfather, and she hooks up with this guy who's all handsome and mysterious, who is a drag racer, and he does it for a bunch of reasons, I guess. But the interesting plot point is that her father is an undercover cop who deals with drag racing and car like stealing and stuff like that. So it's really interesting how Cami Garcia brought it to light because it plays off her own, you know, history and stuff. We also brought a couple of the Beautiful Creatures and the Dangerous Creatures yeah. books in this series. Just what we had in the house, you Basically. know. So we, we brought Beautiful Creatures, um, Beautiful Darkness, we brought Beautiful Chaos, Beautiful Redemption, and then the first book in the spin-off series, Dangerous Creatures. Um, and we got her to sign them after the event, but before she signed stuff, she actually opened the floor to questions, and I got to ask her a question about what it's like to collaborate with other authors because all of the entire Beautiful Creatures and Dangerous Creatures series is co-written. It's between her and Margaret Stoll and they co-wrote this entire awesome series. Um, so it was really interesting to hear that, you know, her and Margaret Stoll, I guess, got along great and really co-authoring it was a, a really easy, basically, dream for them because they'd known each other for like over a decade and if they did bicker about things, it was more like sister bickering, you know, about like apparently why Cammy packs way too much and doesn't need to bring that last suitcase, you know. Um, and it was it was really funny. And I know that a lot of booktubers recently have gotten the chance to collaborate with writers. So I thought that was really interesting, you know, how their dynamic yeah. worked out. I.e. Lindsay Cummings and Sasha Osberg. Go Just Texas. to name a few. Now, the next event we went to was YA Give Me the Creeps, which featured, if I mispronounce any of these names, I'm sorry, I'm terrible at pronunciation. Uh, it featured Kim Savage, Don Kurtigick, Margot Harrison, and Laura Koning. And it was a very seasonal event, all about, you know, creepy YA books that I find very fitting on account of Halloween's Around the Corner. Um, and the... Uh, not all of them are scary outright, but a lot of them deal with not being able to trust your own mind and what's going on, which is also terrifying. And then, of course, after that event, we got to get books signed. So, this particular book, After the Woods by Kim Savage, we did not bring to get signed, but it's only because she had signed it a month earlier at a different event that we went to. Uh, but this one is about a girl who gets kidnapped 
and then escapes her kidnapper and she's found and it's just how she deals with that and going through that you know and her trauma and breakdown and I love books about people who struggle with things you know um and then the other two books that I got and I am actually currently reading one of them and will be reading another for Spookathon so I'm not going to get too too in depth in them because they will be featured in my next video um are The Dead House by Don Kurtigick and then And the Trees Crept In by Don Kurtigick and they're both really interesting I'm super excited to read this one I'm almost done with this one and I really love it so You'll hear more about those later. Trust me on that deal. Um, after that, we had the YA It's Complicated event. Now, that had four authors. Melissa Dela Cruz, Rebecca Potos, Jennifer Niven, and Jordan Sonneblick. And Melissa Dela Cruz, it was also showcasing her new book about uh, immigration, everything in between. And... Rebecca Potos was The Mystery of Hollow Places, which, again, we were able to get signed at an earlier festival, the Boston Teen Author Festival, but she was wonderful, and now I'll let you take it from here. Um, the other two books that we got signed, which did not have to deal with this event, but um, were partly by Melissa de, Recru bleh, Melissa de la Cruz. They were co-authored. Melissa de la Cruz and Michael Johnston wrote the Heart of Dread series. So the first two books in that series, Frozen and then Stolen, I got those signed too, which was awesome. Um, and I mean, the event was really, really cool. It was basically about teens with issues, you know, and it being complicated and their complicated relationships with their parents or their life or just generally what they go through. Um, and for me, it was really, really special because Jennifer Niven was there and Jennifer Niven wrote all the bright, all the bright places that's kind of a tongue twister. Um, but she wrote All the Bright Places, and I love this book so, so much. In fact, I love it so much, I may just do an entire video dedicated to it and, like, an in-depth review at some point. It's just a... It's an amazing book. It really gives you a window into these teens' lives, and I just can't even describe how awesome it is. So it's about... Two kids who meet on the ledge of a bell tower in school because it's like a six-story ledge and they're both contemplating suicide. So they meet up there and they form an unlikely friendship, um, Violet and then Finch, and it's about their adventures together and them like just trying to deal with whatever they're going through. And, you know, it has a lot to do with mental illness and how... You know, some days you wake up and it's a struggle and you try and get over that and combat whatever it is that you're suffering with and going through. Um, I think it's amazing. It's totally brilliant. And to me, the the most, I guess not most important, but to me, the thing that resonated most with me about this book is just the way Jennifer Niven deals with mental illness in this book. She doesn't ever sensationalize it. She doesn't ever you know, use it as like a plot device only, you know, she really just gives you an honest window into the world of people who are struggling and it's 100% real and it's a great depiction of how this really is, you know, it's, I, I just think it's amazing, I can't rave enough and I'm kind of at a loss for words. Also, Congratulations to Jennifer Niven. She just won second. I think her list was her her bleh, her book was second on the list of the Y A L S A. So the Young Adult Library Service Association teens top ten reads for the American Library Association. So congratulations to her for making it on that list. Um, that said. Check this out next. Hi, this is Shannon coming to you from the Boston Public Library, and we have special guest here, Jennifer Niven. Hi. And I 
this is a giveaway for a signed copy of my book. All the right places. That's right, folks. That was Jennifer Niven. We are giving away a copy of all the bright places because it's just so good and I think everybody should read this book they really should and of course naturally it's somewhere in here signed by her as well um, I'm super excited to give this away so all you have to do to win this book subscribe to our channel leave a comment down below about why you want to win it or what your favorite part about it was if you've already read it no spoilers um, and yeah, that's it. It's pretty easy. And also read it in time because she is also going to be doing a movie. Yes, that's right. If you don't have it already, who knows, maybe you'll win it by then. We will be picking one user at random that we'll send it to. It's going to be so, I'm so excited to see her movie. It's going to be so cool. She's currently working on the script right now. So definitely, definitely enter to win so that you can read this book by the time her movie comes out. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, the details are going to be below, but basically it's going to... The deadline is going to be Thanksgiving, so we November will... November 24th. Yeah, so we will be contacting... <laughs> we, we, we will be contacting the winner a little bit after Thanksgiving. Take, like, maybe two to three days. Yeah, like a, a, di yeah. a couple days, yeah, you know, because okay. Thanksgiving festivities, yeah. but we will be closing the giveaway on Thanksgiving, so... There yeah. you go. And also, so. don't forget to watch some future videos because we love doing giveaways. We I do. We love doing it so We much. love sharing our love of reading with people, and I have so many books to give away because I just happen to get my hands on so many good books. So definitely stick around. There will be more to come if you like them. And until we get some more for now... Feel free to like, subscribe, you know, the whole nine yards. The usual. Um, and stay tuned. For now, bye. bye.